Hey, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on green building and building science. I'm here on the roof of a house that my company completed about a year ago. Uh, we're, we're back doing an annual inspection. I wanted to extol the virtues of a metal roof uh, for a quick video for you. This roof is a, uh, a standing seam metal roof, although it's not an old school standing seam. This is what they call a snap lock system. So this panel right here has a, a rib that comes over top and this panel on this side has a clip that's screwed down on the deck and then this panel snaps over top of it. So it gives you the look of an old school seamed uh, standing seam roof but you don't have to use the seaming tool. It also makes it a little bit easier to take a panel off if, if uh, you need to do a repair. And this one has been styrated. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's got a little bit of a uh, mechanical uh, rib on there which just helps with the oil canning as, as the uh, material heat heats and cools it does have some expansive uh, properties and without that you can get a little bit of an oil canning effect but the real reason why I like this roof is for durability longevity and energy efficiency a roof like this should really be a 75 year roof maybe even 100 years we'll take a hailstorm no problem in fact this one actually had some hail on it earlier uh, this year and you can't you can't even tell it's absolutely perfect looking on really bad hailstorms you might get a few dents that you might be able to see if you're on the roof very rarely will you see a metal roof that's been dented from the street it's not like your car hood uh, that just has an airspace down there and uh, takes a beating. And of course, you're you're looking at it typically from a distance. So a metal roof like this really does well in our Texas hot, humid, very sunny climate. The other big benefit of a roof like this is it's very reflective. You get a good um, reflectivity value from this roof. It acts as a good radiant barrier and it helps keep the house below it cool because we've got this cool colored roof uh, up here. Uh, the other big benefit of a roof like this is when it does need replaced in 75 years or so, it's 100% recyclable. The roofer will take it off and he has actually every incentive to recycle it because there's a lot of value to this metal when it gets recycled. And in fact, most of the metal that we're using for our roofs here in Austin have quite a bit of recycled content in them to begin with. So this, this is probably, I would guess, somewhere around 40 or 50% recycled steel content on this roof. What you're seeing here is what they call galvalume. It's a, a special coating uh, that's a little better than a typical galvanized roof and it offers a little more protection. You will get a little bit of staining like this if you've got, uh, we've got some beautiful live oaks above this roof that drop a little bit on this roof. It does stain a little bit uh, over time. It can be cleaned though if you want to. Um, I think that's it though. So if, if you are considering a new roof on your house, it is quite a bit more expensive. You know, most of the time these roofs are, are more than double the cost or around double the cost of an asphalt shingle roof. But if you think about how many times here in Central Texas our roofs get replaced uh, because of hail or other issues and even just overall longevity, I would think that a roof like this, if you think about it on a, on a longer term, which should easily beat an asphalt roof in terms of price on the long haul. So please, when you're, when you're thinking about replacing your roof, check into the metal options. There's a lot of good metal options, a lot of good contractors out there uh, for installing them and really is a superior product. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Have a good day.